Hi, um, today we will look at sorting problems. A problem that uh, if you sort something, you can do something faster, okay? Um, so a quick review. Um, there are many types of sorting algorithms. Um, I think uh, you should be able to implement some of them, right? Uh, because uh, sorting algorithms are really useful in real world problems, okay? So basically, um, you can categorize sorting algorithm into basically two types one which are really efficient efficient one that can be used like with large amount of data okay so this uh, sorting algorithm would run in time n log n where n is number of elements okay so um, for example some of these are like merge sort quick sort quick sort with the good Pivoting, I think. Uh, bad, bad pivoting can get get you n square, right? And there are other sorting algorithms which are easy to implement, um, like uh, bubble sort, insertion sort. Okay, and these run in o oh, n square time. Okay, um, when th when you think about running time, um, the if you think about the running time in in our uh, programming task roughly uh, when you see n square running time like uh, n if if they give you one second or a few seconds and shouldn't be like larger than like a thousand right? or maybe uh, now the machine get faster and maybe like ten thousand yeah that 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 should run but if you have like a hundred thousand uh, uh, n square running time wouldn't be fast enough. So if you have input in the range like 200,000 or 100,000, you probably need to use this n log n running time sorting algorithms. Okay. All right. Um, so if you sort of like forget about bubble sort, insertion sort, or merge sort, let, let me uh, give you a quick review. Okay. So bubble sort. Uh, okay, basically, uh, basically you have uh, an input array. Um, bubble sort is, uh, would basically look at uh, each pair of items, and if they are in the wrong position, they just uh, do the swap. Okay, just that. Okay, and then uh, they just keep doing that. Okay, just look at other pair and so on. They, they just basically iterate through the, the array and, and if if you see adjacent pairs with the wrong ordering, you just swap it, okay? And you keep doing that the first time, second time, okay? Third time, fourth time, and so on. And if you keep doing that enough time, okay? Then you get the array to be uh, sorted, okay? So, how many times do you need to do that? You can think about it as uh, if you have the maximum element here. Okay. In the end, it has to go to the last one, right? So the first time you do the first iteration, this max guy will, will get to the end, right? Because it, it goes with the comparisons. But then the other, uh, probably not the max guy, the, the second largest guy will, will, will get to the end at some point later on, right? But in the second in the second round, the second round, the next largest guy will, will will get to the to the end, right? In the third round, the third round, the uh, the third largest guy will get to the end. So basically, you you need to go through the array for at most n n minus one rounds, and each round takes uh, n time, right? So the running time is like n round. Oh, n per each, so n minus one round, so the running time is n square. So this is bubble sort. Okay. Um, the other interesting um, sorting algorithm is is insertion sort. You probably need to learn um, selection sort as well. Probably the e easiest one to implement as well. But um, today I mentioned bubble sort and insertion sort because there are tasks that. Um, ask you to do that okay so insertion sort 
in search and sort, you, you basically maintain a part of the array that are uh, already sorted, right? Initially, this part is just one guy, right? The first guy. And then you look at this one, the next one, and you try to add it, it into the, the sorted part of the array. You do that by uh, doing the insertion. So basically, you compare this guy with the last one. If it's smaller, you just do the swap. If it's smaller, you do the swap and so on. Uh, when when the swap stop, this guy will get to the right uh, position. You can think of this as uh, sorting cards, sorting cards. So you have this card in your hand and you have the new one and you want to add it into the, the sorted part in your hand. So you keep comparing the new card with the previous one. Okay, so this is insert and sort. Okay. Um, the first two problems in our uh, problem set. So let's take a look at it. The first two problem, what's the median? Okay, so this this basically uh, give, uh, if you read it, so basically you're, you're given a, 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 a series of integers and then um, you need to just keep adding them to the sorted list and output the, the median. So the median is the middle guy. Uh, if you have uh, odd number of guys in, in, in your current list, the median is the middle guy. And if you have even number, you need to uh, take the average like that and then you print. So basically in this task, when you have, uh, when, when you add more and more input into your, your array, and you need to keep them sorted. The only the one way to do that is to uh, to do the insertion sort. Okay, so so this this task is basically the practice for insertion sort. And and this one, flip sort. Flip sort is the sorting by flipping the adjacent guy. So basically, it's it's a bubble sort, and it will ask you to. Uh, read the inputs and not not output the 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 um the sorted array itself but output the number of operations that you need to do to get the, the 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 array sorted so basically you just run bubble sort and output the number of time you swap elements so the first two tasks are, are basically uh, these two sorting algorithms okay um before we move on um let me give you one one pointers there is a website called visual algor this one that you can look at uh, many algorithms with uh, really nice uh implementation uh visualization like like sorting right so you wanna um they have add many many interesting things but uh you want to sort stuff, right? And this is bubble sort. You can pick one, right? And it gives you the simulation on how the algorithm works. You can see bubble sort, they keep comparing adjacent pairs, right? You can change the input. Like 10 guys with random number. And then you just call sort. And, and and it gives you the demonstration of the sorting algorithms like that, okay? So this is bubble sort, right? Okay, you can stop. And how about insert and sort? Okay, you keep the sorted part and you try to insert a new one. You see? Pick the new guy and try to insert into the sorted part. Like that. Okay. So um, this is really helpful when you try to understand sorting algorithms. Okay. Okay. The next algorithm that we looked at is, is merge merge sort. It's it's a very efficient uh, sorting algorithms. So let me give you a quick review. So for merge sort, it's, it's a divide and conquer algorithms. Okay. Later on, after next week, we will talk about graph algorithm, and then the week after, we talk about divide and conquer. 
so um, specifically. But uh, for, for now, um, merge sort is simple enough to understand. Okay, so to sort a, a, an array, an, a big array, you basically uh, divide into uh, two subarray. Okay, and then, uh, so let me write the array, array like this. Um, so in, in the beginning, you have an array which, which is not sorted. So let me write the array with the value. So like in Visual Core previously, so like that. Okay, uh, you divide the array into two parts. Okay, they are not sorted, right? Each part is not sorted. And then you recursively call merge sort. So you recursively sort them. Now they are sorted, right? Okay, you need then you need to combine the the results right into the the sorted whole thing. Okay, the way you combine it, you you merge them. The merge operation is basically you given two sorted sorted array, okay, and then you you first compare the first guy and pick the smaller one, and and you keep keep the pointers to move around, uh, to to keep the 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 pointer to the the first guy in each array, and you compare them, and if they are the pick one with are smaller. And you add into the next uh, the the output array. Okay, so basically that's that's merge sort. Okay. If you watched it in in Visual Core, you can probably see. So basically, it divide the array into two parts, and then uh, it do the merge. But um, you want to really understand it this much because uh, it do that recursively. So uh, maybe it's really hard to understand. But this is like when they do the merge. They merge through them that. They keep merging the, the, the end of the array. Okay, so now let's see. So you have two parts already. Okay, they keep the merging like that. That's that's how the merge is done. Okay, and then you get the whole thing. Okay, um, to uh, to do the merge sort, um, you you can uh, implement merge algorithms, or maybe uh, you you look up from from the internet. Okay, somehow you you make sure uh, you 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 should go back and try to implement merge sort. Okay. Um, Okay, so there are two tasks that require uh, fast sorting. The first one is a sort. So this is just sorting problems. Okay. But um, I, I I don't want you to use too too much I/O. So you print every case guy. So so printing is a little bit hard. So um, you print the the case guy. Okay, but it's just sorting problems. The other one is a UEA task called H sort. Okay, so basically you read input and and you 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 sort the 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 numbers. So to to get these two tasks done, you need fast sorting algorithm. Uh, basically, you should try to implement merge sort at least one in your life, right? Um, that's a catch here. Um, when when the input output is very large. Uh, C in and C out is really slow, so so you need to do the fast I/O. Okay, how to do the fast I/O? You can um, you need to add these two lines into your code so that it it become faster. Okay, so so basically C in is really slow bit because it try to sync with uh, STD input. Uh, with uh, scan f that's c libraries so um yeah, yeah that's so it, that make it really slow so um you add, if you add these two lines you can, it will get faster okay and tr and if it's not that's not fast enough uh try while using sdn in l okay that's that's also the slowing part, the, the the part which are really slow okay Okay, so this t three ta uh, this four tasks is basically uh, ask you to implement uh, sorting algorithms. Okay, 
Okay, so if you want something sorted, you can implement the algorithms yourself. Okay, you can also um, later on on other kind of tasks if you need something to be sorted, you can. Um, for today, you you probably need to uh, implement the 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 sorting parts of yourself to 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 for practice, but there are there are other ways you you can uh, implement sorting. Uh, part, uh, if you need sorting in your algorithms, you can use libraries. Okay, so last week we talked about STL, right? So you can you there are many ways in STL to get stuff sorted. Okay, this first thing is uh, sorting algorithms. Sort this is part of the uh, algorithm part of the STL. Okay, so basically. You call sort on 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 maybe on on a vector, then you get stuff sorted. Okay, so it, in many tasks, this this is easiest thing to do, but you should try to uh, implement uh, sorting algorithms uh, yourself once. Okay, all right. Um, so let me give you ex an example of doing uh, using STL sort. Okay, let's look at the uh, the description first. So this is the, the 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 API for sort. So basically, if you have random access iterator, that's like a, a vector or something. You give the first one and the the last one, not not the not the last one, the one after the last, and then the sorting everything would, would runs, and uh, it takes in log n time. Okay, it's really fast. Okay, so you just do this sort. And then uh, begin in. That's it. Okay, so that's that's really that's really quick uh, way to do the sorting. Okay, but in in many cases uh, you don't you're not uh, you don't just like to sort stuff, right? Um, so let's go back. So the code of sorting would basically uh, say if you have a vector in. Uh, x and, and you read some input and you just call sort x at begin x dot end that's it then you can you can you can sort the number really quickly in in or oh, in log n time if you uh if you have an input as an array and n is uh, the number of input you need to call sort x and x plus n you can see that this is like uh begin right x dot begin the pointer to the first guy and this is x plus n is a pointer to the guy after the last one and this this get the array sorted as well okay um there's another trick that you can do when you want to sort stuff that uh are not just integers say maybe you want to sort a, a list of a, a list of pair of integers like this, like 10, 5, 10, 7, 2, 5, 300, uh, 4, 1, 4 minus 2. And you want to sort them so that in such a way that um, first you sort by the first items. And then if you have the same items, uh, if the first item are the same, then you sort by the second items. So this list would become something like, uh, so let me change this a little bit, 10, 5. Okay, if you sort this, you will get something like, um, okay, so 2, 3, that would be first, right? And then uh, 300, and then 4 and minus 2. Oh, sorry. And four and one. And then ten five. And then ten seven. So this is what you want to do, okay? You have, you, you want to sort something, but you do that based on the first one, okay? And then if the first one are the same, you want to sort this by, by the second one, okay? Um, this is something that you need to do for tasks, uh, uh, if sort 
and DNA sorting. Okay. Um, to do that, um, um, there are many ways to do that. If you write your own sorting algorithms, then you need to do the comparison properly. Okay. The other technique is to use instead of that, you use uh, you use pair. Okay. SCL pair. So a pair in SDL is something like when you want to use a pair. So you say pair. Maybe if you have a pair of in, say you, you say pair in in. This is the type. Okay. Let's say call, let's call it X. Okay. When you give given a pair of in int, um, a pair has two parts. The first the, the the first thing is called first. The second part is called second. Okay. In in SDL, when you want to return or do anything with with uh, an, an element that contains two parts, uh, they'll use pair. Okay. Okay. When you have a pair, um, SDL uh, sort of like infer how to compare the element based on uh, the value in the first uh, part of the input and the second part. Okay, so they compare first uh, the first part first like this exactly like this. Uh, you put two in first and you put five in the second in the first item stuff like that, and then. Uh, when STL do the comparison, it, it, it look at the first element first. And if the first element is the same, it look at the second one. Okay. So you can use, uh, if you keep everything in, inside a pair, you can use sort. Okay. And then, uh, you can, uh, you put stuff in the pair and it, it will be sorted properly. Okay. There's another trick. If you want to sort stuff, uh, from large to to small, like the 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 okay. You can put the minus on the element, and the sorting or anything will will do the 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 opposite thing, okay. The larger guy will be the first one, okay. So this is what you can. This is a trick part that you can use. Uh, you can use pair to implement sorting with uh with uh with uh with an element with two parts okay so when you compare you can just directly if you keep them in a pair so you can directly do the comparison stuff like this okay oh by the way how you make a pair, how, how do you make a pair you can say uh, make pair make pair and maybe uh, two five like that and then you get the pair with the first element become uh, two and the second element become five Okay, use make pair. Or you can call the constructor pair in in and then uh, two five. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is the second way of uh, doing the sorting. The third way to for to, to get things sorted is to use uh, STL associative containers. Okay, so STL associative containers uh, are the key value data structures, but they have, uh, you have set and multi set. Okay. Uh, set contains a, a collection of elements which are all distinct, but multi set you can have duplicates. Uh, for set, for set, everything is, is in the set is, is, uh, is a balance, uh, uh, is kept in a balance binary search tree. Okay. So the 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 thing that you put in set will be sorted somehow inside this balance binary search tree. So if you put stuff in set and you bring it out, you will get the sorted values. So um, so if you set uh, uh, if you have duplicates, you can use multi set, or you can uh, do a trick by using a pair as well. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna talk about that really brief, briefly today. Uh, in case you want to try, but, but we'll give more example later on when, when you come, when we come back to, uh, STL practice. Okay. So, um, so let me give you a, a really quick, uh, example of using set, uh, using set to get stuff, uh, sorted. Okay. Okay. So, um, let me show you some example of, of, of sort function sort and also, uh, set. Okay. So let's do this with, uh, a simple sorting problems. 
So you have to include set. And also like that, okay. Okay, again, uh, many times uh, C in is really slow. You want to use fast I.O. To do that, um, you just basically take these two lines and put it here, okay? All right, okay. Now, I would say we want to read some input. Uh, let read in. And if you want to keep stuff inside the vector, Okay. If you don't want to use array, right, you can just use vector, and then you do the for loop. And then you keep everything inside and a vector like that. Now, if you want to get stuff sorted, the the easiest way is to just call sort x dot begin x dot end, and then that's done. Okay, let's print it out. This is the form to go through all the elements in x. Okay, so let's run. No, it does not comply. Oh, okay, sorry. I need to say int there. What else? Let's run again. Okay, so let's say uh, five guys, four, two, six, two, one. And then it's got sorted, okay? So you can call uh, sort, okay, like that. You can do that with an array as well. If you have an array of x, okay, int, and you can see in x i. You can call that with x, x and x plus n, like that. You get some stuff sorted as well. Oh, okay. Um, okay. The way you, I, I print like this, uh, I go through everyone in X, but X is off size a thousand. So you have stuff after the input as well. Yeah, this. All right. Um, if you want to sort stuff in, in, in pair, so let's do that uh, with vector. For now. Okay, so you, if you want to keep a pair inside a vector, so you need to pair in, in like that, okay? And maybe uh, you have two inputs per line, okay? And you want to push bo both number into the, the vector, so you make it into a pair like that, okay? And then you call sort. And then you want to print. When you want to print uh, stuff inside a vector, it's a pair in int, like that. So the first element will be in the first. The second element will be in the second. OK. So it's a pair of int, OK? Uh, so let's run it really quick. Say maybe five attempts. One, five, one, two, five, one, two hundred, two, four. Okay. So after it's sorted, so it basically sort by the first element first and then followed by the second and then uh, like that. Okay. So you get, if you have an element, a pair of elements, this is how, how you would do it. Okay. Another way to get things sorted um, is to keep it in associative uh, containers. One of that is is a set. So let's do that like this: set of pair of int. 
Okay. If you have a set, you cannot push back. You can only insert into a set because there's no, uh, you cannot say, uh, put this at the end of the set. And then you need, you don't need to sort. Okay. So let's it's probably the same behavior. Okay, exactly the same behavior, but you don't need to call sort this time because if you keep something in the set, in, in a set, okay, um, the item inside a set is already sorted. So, so if you need to do that, uh, keep, keep something sorted, you can try to use the uh, more advanced containers. We'll look at that later on, but, uh, it will be really useful to, to, to learn, to learn set and, and map. Okay. When you write C++ code. Okay, so um, why do you, why do we need to call tell you this? Because um, some of the tasks that you have to do uh, this F sort and also DNA sorting ask you to do the sorting with uh, two two I items it, with with a pair. Okay, so that's how you need to do it. Okay, there's another problem that you need to do is called exact sum. So you can try reading it and you can implement it with uh, uh, you first, uh, do, you need to do, if you want to do it really quick, you need to do binary search. So before you can do binary search, you need to do the sorting itself. So I will leave the problem, this problem later uh, for now. I will have some more explanation later on. So the, the, the deadline for this one is not, uh, it will be far. Okay. Not, not this week. Okay. And that's one optional task you can do here, change. Okay, so that's it for the sorting problems. There'll be more apply sorting problem for you later on, but for today, that's that's it, okay? All right, see you next week with graph algorithms.